Docosinol 10% topical cream is used to treat cold sores, also known as fever blisters, caused by the herpes labialis virus. It helps to speed up the healing process and reduce symptoms such as tingling, pain, burning, and itching. This cream works by blocking the virus from entering healthy skin cells and multiplying. It's important to note that this medication does not cure herpes or prevent the infection from spreading to others. It also does not prevent future occurrences of cold sores. It should not be used to treat canker sores, shingles, or genital herpes. When using Docosinol 10% topical cream for cold sores, make sure to follow the directions on the product package or as directed by your doctor. Apply the medication at the first signs of a cold sore, such as tingling, burning, redness, or a bump. Wash and dry your hands before applying the cream, and clean and dry the affected areas. Apply a thin layer of medication to cover the area of the cold sore or the area of tingling, itching, redness, or swelling, and rub in gently. You can apply the cream up to 5 times a day every 3 to 4 hours, or as directed by your doctor, and remember to wash your hands after applying. Avoid applying the medication in or near the eyes, as it can cause irritation. If the medication gets into your eyes, flush with plenty of water. Do not apply inside the mouth or nose, and remove any cosmetics from the affected area before applying the cream. You can apply cosmetics after using the cream, but use a separate applicator on infected areas to prevent spreading the infection. If you accidentally wipe off the medication, reapply as soon as possible. The dosage of the medication will depend on your medical condition, type of infection, and response to treatment. Use the cream regularly to get the most benefit from it, and try to use it at the same times each day. Docosinol does not prevent the spread of herpes, so avoid close physical contact with others during an outbreak and try not to touch the cold sore. If your cold sores get worse or last for more than 10 days, stop using the medication and contact your doctor. If you experience redness or swelling, make sure to consult your doctor or pharmacist. Keep in mind that your doctor has determined that the benefits of using this medication outweigh the potential side effects. While serious allergic reactions are rare, seek medical help immediately if you notice any symptoms such as rash, swelling, severe dizziness, or trouble breathing. It's important to note that this is not a complete list of possible side effects, so be sure to contact your doctor or pharmacist if you notice any other effects. If you're in the U.S., you can report side effects to the FDA at 1-800-FDA-1088 or at www.fda.gov medwatch. In Canada, you can report side effects to Health Canada at 1-866-234-2345. Before using docosinol, it's important to check with your doctor or pharmacist if you have any allergies or if this product contains any inactive ingredients that may cause allergic reactions. If you're pregnant, only use this medication if it's really necessary and discuss the risks and benefits with your doctor. If you're breastfeeding, consult your doctor before using this product. It's important to be aware that docosinol 10% topical cream may interact with other medications, potentially affecting how they work or increasing the risk of serious side effects. It's crucial to keep a list of all the products you use, including prescription and non-prescription drugs, as well as herbal products, and share it with your doctor and pharmacist. Before making any changes to your medication dosage, always seek approval from your doctor. If this medication is swallowed, it can be harmful. If someone has taken too much and experiences severe symptoms like fainting or difficulty breathing, it's important to seek immediate medical attention by calling 911 or a poison control center. In the U.S., residents can contact their local poison control center at 1-800-222-1222, while Canadian residents can call a provincial poison control center. It's important not to share this medication with others as it could spread the infection. Cold sores can be caused by various factors including stress, hormonal changes, injury or surgery on the mouth, tiredness, sunlight, cold weather, and fever or cold-slash-flu. If you forget to use the cream at the scheduled time, apply it as soon as you remember. If it's almost time for your next dose, then just wait and use the next dose as usual. Do not use double the amount to make up for the missed dose. It's important to store docosinol 10% topical cream at room temperature and protect it from freezing. If you have any questions about how to store it, you can ask your pharmacist.
Be sure to keep all medications away from children and pets. And when it's expired or you no longer need it, make sure to properly discard the product. You can consult your pharmacist or local waste disposal company for guidance on the proper way to do this. If you need more help, call your doctor for medical advice. In the US, you call FDA, 1-800-FDA-1088. In Canada, you may call Health Canada, 1-866-234-2345. Wishing you good health. Thanks for watching.